When uh, I got together with uh, your boy in the Center for the Arts to talk to Angela and Ken about doing the work, I wasn't really sure what it was going to be. And here I am two weeks before the program and I'm still not sure what it's going to be. But what's really interesting is that uh, they were completely open to the fact that uh, sometimes as an artist you find yourself in a place where you really, really need not uh, be confined to things you have done and you're finding your way into some other territory. And that's really where I've sort of been for the last couple of years, but it's really hard to transition out of that place of your audience and funders and critics knowing you in a particular way and you're starting to sort of shift what you're doing at least the thought process. Having worked here and having the support of this organization has been great because I haven't had that pressure in this particular project and that's been fantastic. The title itself Toward September is really about sort of being in motion and is really sort of about being in transition that you know toward this sort of thing that is transitory which is you know toward September is really toward this particular time and time itself is transitory and so none, nothing ever really sort of sits and that's really essentially where I was when I was making peace. Myself as an artist I'm in at this moment in transition. I often make uh, material that's really very, uh, work that's really very content driven, theme driven, material driven in that it's about something. It's of the nature of something and this work is not in that vein. It's not to say that it's not about something, it's not to say that it's not about relationship and passion and music and rhythm and all of that stuff that makes dance interesting but it's not about it in a, in a way that I have been working before, at least from the inside. And that being the case, um, I find myself in a position that I haven't been in in a while, which is sort of I've really got a lot of freedom to sort of keep pushing things. The, what keeps the piece moving forward is this, it's the bodies on stage. And as, as I've said, what I have done in the past is sort of, sort of had a notion about something that we could all sort of connect to that is a part of, you know, in quotes, the real world and, and it's, uh, and then sort of try to build a line from what I'm thinking about it to your heart and your mind as an audience member. This piece is a little less like that in that, it, in that it's not attached to a concrete notion. It's really, it's really a free mind, free hand uh, rendering of uh, bodies in space and in time and in motion. Everything that I'm going through is affecting this and that the the need that I have to find uh, release in the work is actually driving the piece. And so maybe that's what people are going to come and see. What people are going to come and see is uh, release, my release uh, from uh, all the things that I feel like have sort of put me in a kind of a place that I don't always want to be. And so when I say free hand, free mind, uh, it means uh, that notion of the artist as the individual who goes into a room and tries to create something or sits at a, a, a piano or with an instrument and tries to create something that's really about uh, the tone of their life at that moment. <laughs> that's the first question. It's almost like the obvious question but the trick question, right? Uh, that's a, that's kind of a tough one. Well, 